Hi friends, um, today I'll be talking about the modular kitchen process or the modular wardrobe process which Bunsell's entry store follows to complete the entire process for the customer. So this is the website bsshomestore.com where you can see and uh, you know explore the website go and explore you can design your kitchen once you click onto this you know you'll be landed to modular kitchen uh, page <clears throat> i've opened that page in front of you where you can download the kind of brushes we deal into where we have the brushes for the kitchens wardrobes and all this is the literature onto the website you can check our blog as to what customers talk about our kitchens what kitchens we've installed now let me take you to the process directly so we divide the kitchen into a four step process where the process one is the carcase and the kind of finish and the placement we use now this is a basic kitchen which is designed here where we discuss about whether the kitchen is handles versus handleless kitchen and the kind of material we use whether we use mr ply or boiling waterproof ply or hdhmr which is the high density high moisture resistant board or we use boilo so all this kind of material is what we try to discuss what kind of material you want to use to make your kitchen you want to use a marine ply or you want to use a mdf you want to use a laminate so these are the various options you want to use acrylic kitchen you want to use a lacquered kitchen veneer kitchen so these are the options available for the modular kitchen at our store where we deal with more than 10 plus finishes so that is the process one which we follow to get the basic costing assuming uh, you know we have assumed a basic kitchen let's say it's about 100 square feet material so the basic laminate kitchen starts about 1500 rupees square feet which is the basic car case and the boxes so when i talk about the process one which is the car case the boxes and the shutters would cost somewhere about starting range would be about inr one and a half lakhs and uh, the cost would vary if you go for acrylic finish to 2200 rupees square feet you go on to lacquered 4500 square feet so the basic cost is the process part one which is this then you move on to the process part two so uh, just coming back this is again a part in case you know we go with wardrobes is the same process we have to follow so the carcass is the first part the internal carcass would be mr ply or boiling waterproof ply or a marine ply or a laminate or HDHMR is what we have to choose first and then what kind of finish we are looking at whether we're looking at a glass finish whether we're looking at acrylic finish so the uh, process part one which is the carcass plus the finish plus the placement is the same whether you go for kitchen or wardrobe at a store let us go to the step two which is the hardware process now the hardware process you know we mean a uh, hardware like this so what kind of hinges you're looking at dustbin tray what kind of lifters you're looking at whether you're looking at a bloom lifter or a headache lifter or a local lifter what kind of channels we're using g profile handles grip mats rolling shutter wicker baskets these are the accessories which goes in part two as the hardware part so let me go back to the <coughs> quotation part this is the hardware and whereas we look at our exclusive partners and channels here uh, where we deal with Hetek Hardware, Bloom Hardware, Casa Boomer, Hafle, Pika, Epco. These are our partners for the hardware. And similarly, we deal with laminate partners as Century Ply, Green Lamb, Action Tessa. Glass we use is St. Gobain, AIS. These are few of our partners, you know, where now the hardware part, which is the process part two, you know, with the pantry, wicker basket, all these channels could be headache bloom now this basic cost would vary from about 45,000 to approximately 1.5 to 2 lakhs and can go up to any limit there is no limit but we have assumed let's say a basic kitchen of 100 square feet which is a l-shaped kitchen about 8 by 10 or 8 by 8 you know we are assuming 45,000 rupees basic hardware use could go up to 2 lakhs that's the part of process part 2 now when we go on to the uh, process part 3 which is consisting of so you can read clearly it's process part 3 which is the appliances and the patthar involved now the appliances when we talk about is the chimney burner microwave otg fridge so let me uh, give you a clarity about this when you're looking at appliances we have the chimney the burner 
you know the double bowl sink the tap the washing machine coffee machine so we have four to five companies at our store one is bosch one is simmons one is ascona gold blocon hetic and all these websites you can explore go on to the websites we have a website for kalinga quartz we have a website for all semen appliances where you can go explore the different ranges of the semen appliances and all these are on display at our store you can go on to the bosch appliances which are on display at our store again you can go on to the haple kitchen appliances which is the asco series the german series so these are the kind of appliances we have hetic as well so these are the options you can explore for the appliances now giving you a basic break up of the cost <clears throat> let's say we're looking at a chimney a burner a microwave otg sinks plus taps or fridge let's say i assume we take a bosch chimney at about 30000 could be 2 feet 3 feet a burner for about 30000 a microwave for 30000 a otg for 30000 and sinks plus taps would vary from whatever brands we go whether indian or imported let's say assuming 20000 rupees and then you're looking at a refrigerator which is a standard own refrigerator about 675 liters or a fully loaded refrigerator would be about 90000 so the total price for the appliances would be somewhere about 230000 in case we go for bosch you may go for simmons that has a higher price range you may go with hetic which is a trading by the name of blocon which has a lower price range which goes in the price of ifb caf etc we also have half level with us so you have a wide range of uh, companies to choose your appliances from now this is varying from 2 lakh 30000 the higher limit could go on you can add other devices like coffee machine uh, you know washing machine is there induction and there is no limit now step 4 which was the patthar you know the process which is the counter tops so we have again three to four companies with us one is the kalinga quartz one is the agile quartz one is the caesar stone half lay quartz one is the kyoton i marble stoneware assuming you know the basic cost giving an idea kyoton stone with the price range would start 200 rupees square feet agile quartz would start somewhere about <coughs> 400 rupees square feet Kalinga quartz would start at about 600 rupees square feet, and Caesar quartz would start about 1500 rupees square feet. So, assuming you know the basic kitchen or uh, 8 by 8 or 8 by 10, which we have assumed from the day, uh, the process one is about two slabs, about 100 square feet. So, you know the let's say we go for agile quartz, it's costing about 40,000. So, when you break the kitchen into the last four step part, the first part is the car case. plus the finish plus placement the cost could vary for a laminate kitchen starting about 1 and 1/2 lakhs where the basic price was about 1500 rupees square feet and let's say we go on to a acrylic kitchen it could go up till 2 lakh 20000 and highest there is no limit hardware would vary from 45000 to 2 lakhs the stone uh, as we mentioned could be you know any of the options you choose for would vary from 40000 to 60000 to 4 to 5 lakhs there is no limit appliances <clears throat> would vary somewhere about 2 lakh 30000 so basic kitchen would cost somewhere about 4 lakh 65000 which includes the entire installation process and the delivery at site now let me get you through few catalogs before i you know sum up this four step process so just to get, uh, make you go through the process again first step is the car case and the finish and the placement where you you choose what kind of material you want to use inside and the kind of finish you're looking at where we look at the major expertise second is the <clears throat> hardware part where we leave it to the client and we give you options you want to go with hetic blom casa boomer etc etc so that is somewhere we we were not involved in the exact costing we look we leave it to the client as to what kind of hardware he's looking at what kind of accessories he's looking at what kind of pantry he's looking at the step 3 is your appliances and your stone that is again totally a choice of the client whether he wants to go with kalinga or he wants to go with simmons bosch etc so that is a basic uh, four step process we follow to form the entire pricing of the kitchen and similar process goes for the wardrobes few more catalogs here so that is the website which i already mentioned you can go on to the modular kitchens website here for bunsen and store and download any kind of brochures or catalogs or you can read about our comments or about our uh, portfolios then you can <clears throat> download the brochure here remember when you download the brochure you have to mention your name email phone number and submit only then can you download all our latest designs for the kitchens 
uh, you read here Keller. So Keller is the international brand which we are importing and the Indian brand we are doing it by the name of Bunsel and Restore and Doma. <coughs> So again, uh, these are the websites I already made you go through, the Simmons Appliances, Bosch, ASCO, and uh, that's a small digital brochure. You can always, uh, uh, we can always WhatsApp it to you, which also gives a more detail about the kind of kitchens we have at our display. So when you go scroll down to the catalog, you'll find that is the catalog we have, Mortler Kitchen Wardrobes, and that's the kind of kitchens we have on display. We have about seven to eight kitchens and wardrobes on display and uh, this is the beautiful showroom which we have at Chandigarh you can come and explore the same and uh, the kind of appliances and stone and sinks we deal with as I've already mentioned we deal with uh, Caesar stone, half lay kitchen appliances, Blocont, Kalinga marble we deal with uh, kitchen sinks for Regenox and there are a lot of other companies so this brochure can be sent to you by our digital marketing team or our uh, store marketing team another brochures here when you talk about you know the um, finishes we have we already talked about the brands uh, the colors there are a number of colors we can deal and give it to you and another brochure here which talks more about the wardrobes and uh, again when you talk about the wardrobe detailings you know we take care of the internal detailing as well as the external detailing of how your wardrobes will look like what kind of colors you will look when you choose a wardrobe and uh, another accessories which is very important for India like trouser hanging, drawer organizers and then you have your shoe racks and all sort of accessories are all mentioned here. Then we have similar options we follow for the kitchen detailing where you want to have your LED panel, magic corner, a pantry unit, a bottle pull out, grain trolley. These are a few of the catalog brochures I'm just sharing with you onto the video which makes you aware of what kind of detailing Bunsen Sentry Store goes into when we look at a model location. That's another brochure we have where we have uh, latest uh, designs for our lacquered glass wardrobes. One of them is on display at our store and um, that's a sample drawing which we look at a client when we start doing the process. We want this 2D layout drawing to be sent to us either in the form of AutoCAD or a person can go get the measurement which will look something like a sample drawing like this where we can mention where your uh, fridge will come, where your gas would come and another details we pick up when we start doing or designing a kitchen. And similar option um, we can look into, uh, you can go onto our Facebook page where you go on to a section display store model kitchen wardrobes let me make you go through all the kind of kitchens we have on display so we have this beautiful kitchen of um, uh, lacquered matte kitchen which is the wine color and the wooden finish where we have the caesar stone on display a gold matte sink with a gold cola profile so that's one of our live kitchens where you can see all cement appliances and you can see the lacquered matte kitchen with wooden veneer finish and then uh, talking about the other kitchen so that's the uh, uh, inauguration day we had for our modular kitchens and wardrobes and um, let me make you go through the another that's another part of the kitchen display so let's come to the kitchen so this is a industrial matte finished kitchen where you see the handles are antique where they are the company Bloom and we have the matte black sink here the chimney, the burner, the microwave OTG belongs to the company Hetek Blocont, so that is on display with us. And the stone out here is the Kalinga Quartz. You see it's very seamless. And on the behind you can see a tile which is a 4 by 10 i marble flex body. Another kitchen here, this is a, a anti-finger acrylic matte finish kitchen where you see the appliances are again um, of Halfley Asco. The microwave, the OTG, you have a dishwasher installed here, a chimney, a burner. That's again a live display kitchen we have at a store. Similar uh, kitchen, uh, similar finish which we showed back to you, which is the anti-finger kitchen in a dark grey mat with a wood veneer finish. All the appliances out here are of um, cements. You can see the coffee colour sink. And uh, we also have this uh, profile uh, which comes in the company Hafley and we use this for our wardrobes as well as for our um, crockery units in the chimneys. 
uh, or in the kitchens. These are a lot of samples we have on display where the clients have maximum options of choosing the right color, the right finish, the kind of hardwares. That's a beautiful wardrobe in um, you know uh, smart glass as well as lacquer glass with three drawers here and three drawers here. So there's another kitchen which is the acrylic high gloss where you see the uh, microwave, the OTG and the coffee machine are in one single line. And this is another finish where we have the um, countertop which is Kalinga Quartz in a chimney in a burner which is belongs to the company Hafle Asco. And that's another finish, a be more beautiful view of the acrylic finish. So we have about uh, 40 colors in this uh, kind of finish we have. So that was more about the live display of the kitchens and a few more pictures with uh, you know inbuilt refrigerators open and that's the final live kitchen. So that was more about the entire modular kitchens where you can go explore our catalogs, our website, interact with us on Facebook or YouTube and in case of any kind of queries please do leave a message or any kind of questions. I hope I was very helpful in answering the modular kitchen process at Bunsen Center Store. Looking forward to see you soon at the store so that we can do the kitchens as well as the wardrobes, the TV units and many other things which you desire in your new house.